Hello friends, welcome once again to another chapter of Tableau. In this chapter, you are learning about a different type of chart in Tableau, which is known as histogram chart. A histogram chart is an approximate representation of the distribution of numerical data. We have already created another type of graph which represents distribution of numerical data and that is box in which the plot. But this graph does it a bit differently. A histogram is a graphical display of data using bars of different heights. A histogram looks like a bar chart but groups values for a continuous measure into ranges or bins. So if in Tableau terms you must have a continuous measure and histogram will tell you suppose a continuous measure has a range. So it has a range between zero dollars and up and fifty dollars. Let's say let's consider this example here. So here on x-axis uh, we have total bill. So this is the total bill of a restaurant. Let's say there are two hundred and fifty values of total bill. Some total bill values are of one dollar or two dollar. Some total bill value. So here. Here the values are of one dollar or two dollar. In this case, you can see five dollars. It is written here. So total value of five dollars. So we have one value of five dollars total bill. We have one value of fifty dollars total bill. But if you will consider this bar here, let's shade this. If you will consider this bar here. So this bar here has a value of, if if you will consider this, uh, if you will join the top here, so it's around 33. So it's let's say the value here is 17 dollars. Let's consider this. So total bill of 17 dollars was there in 33 cases out of 250. This is uh, data of 250 total bills and out of 250 total bills in 33 cases the bill amount was somewhere between let's say $16 to $18 so let's consider it 17 so in 33 cases the total bill was of $17 and similarly here also you can see, let's say the total bill here is $22. So in approximately 22 cases, the total bill was $22. So the histogram is a plot between a continuous variable and count of values. And the data is divided into different uh, ranges or parts, which are also known as bins here. So the range starts from minimum value of total bill to maximum value of total bill and as you can see both minimum and maximum value of total bill have one value each and maximum and most number of bills were in between $11 and let's say $22 or $23. So most number of bills were in between $22. Uh, were in between $11 and $23. Some bills were also in the range of, this is four bills you can say because this, this line represents five. The so four bills were in the range of $38 and $40 and so on. This is how you read this type of data. And let's once again to create this type of data, let me get another sheet here. To create this type of data what you have to do is you have to consider a total you have to consider a continuous measure here so the continuous measure here is this total bill so drag it to the columns this will again show you some of total bill we have we don't have to drag anything here what we are going to do here is from this show me uh, this is this will basically give you all the available graphs here but the by default it is giving us the recommended bar graph but again 
you can see only this another graph is available here for histogram one measure you can see and it creates a bin field and it is not available for for all measures the measures should be continuous let's consider this and now you can see the graph is made so here it is showing us the range let's make it full screen so here it is showing us the range and you can see count of total bill is 29 and the bin is 11 so this is a bin of 11 dollars and in the bin of 11 dollars count of total bills is 29 so there were 29 there were 29 number of cases in which the total bill was somewhere between 11 and 12 dollars so this is what it is showing and for total bill amount of 16 dollars or you can say total bill bin of 16 dollars the count of total bill was 33 let's escape again what you can do here is you can change another color for this by default it is blue you can change green or whatever you want to choose let's choose this and one interesting thing is uh, there here you can see uh, let me drag this down here here you, you will see that total bill is now bin here. So the bin that we are seeing here, I mean bin of $18, bin of $16 and so on. Total bill uh, there is bin and you can edit it. You can edit in shelf. So you can do it. You can create some calculated field here or you can do one more thing. Or you can see here that uh, in your tables now we have a new uh, column here which is total bill so you can right click it and you can click on edit you can see the size of each bin here is 2.22 dollars so every bin represent 2.22 dollars there are one two three let's say there are n number of bins every bin represent 2.22 dollars and minimum value of minimum uh, value of total bill is 3.07 and uh, maximum value of total bill is 50.81 the difference is 47.74 and count is 229 you can also choose different value for bin let's create bin of five dollars each so now we have bins of five dollar each so it is now a bit easy to read the data between zero to five dollars there were put there was one bill between zero to five dollars between five dollar to ten dollar uh, total number of bills were 16 between ten dollar and fifteen dollars uh, there were 63 total bills between $15 and $20 there were 67 such bills so you can see most number in this case when we have changed the bin size so in this case uh, the count of total bill was 67 so this is how we can draw a histogram let's go back to the basic there is one more thing that you can do if you have categorical value, uh, values here let's say we have gender here and we want to see distribution of data for both genders that are available in this data set in this data set we have either male or female uh, people giving the tip and let's drag it and let's drag it to the colors so now you can see by default the data is now divided into two parts this is distribution for male and this is distribution for female as you can see here in these bins uh, we can say uh, these there were total two bills between uh, zero dollar and five dollar and both of those bills were given by female candidates here you can see the maximum bill so the total bill bin is 49 so between 49 and 52 dollars there was only one bill and it was given by a male candidate so this this time we analyzed with this also total 
in this bin which is of 16 dollars so the range is between 16 to 18.2 dollars so between 16 and 18.2 dollars there were total 16 bills that were handled by or that were uh, given by female candidates and in the same range there were 17 bills given by male candidates so you can analyze this data let's uh, undo this and let's drag a smoker here so now you will see the data for smokers also suppose you want to see whether maximum bills maximum amount of bills were between were in dinner or lunch time so you can drag this also so as you can see here the the length of these bars is longer in case of dinner which simply uh, concludes that more number of bills were there in case of dinner so again this is a very simple example of total bill and tips and so on once again you can analyze a distribution of tips also let's say you have to, you just have to drag tip again we, we are not dragging tip here not the total bill again go to show me drag it. so this is how tips were given by the customers and you can see the maximum tips were between uh, were of about 1.5 dollars and there were 58 such tips some high amount of tips were also there uh, bit approximately of 10 dollars but there was only one such tip so similarly you can uh, view the data view the distribution of tip you can view the distribution of you can view the distribution of total bill and this is how bar uh, this is how histogram charts work and this is this total graph is distribution of total bill using histogram again uh, i will i will do uh, or i will make some more exploratory data analysis videos on some other data sets other than this tips data set and this super store data set we have many public data sets and some real data sets also so i will do some exploratory analysis exploratory data analysis on those data sets and as i said histogram is a very common way of analyzing or exploring data so we will use histogram in other examples also this is just a simple discussion and explanation of what histogram does and why is it used see you in other videos thank you for watching